so close to touching all I hold my hands up, I reach out And I believe I'll see you again I love you for a dream
sharing cars Between us just like me Hiking around Convict Lake this morning, and I know you were probably wondering, how was this valley cut? By a river or a glacier? Well, you can tell by the shape of the valley. If it's the shape of a U, like this one, see this side? Nice slope, goes all the way on this side. That's a U. That's indicative of glacial erosion. Some other key evidence you could look at to prove that there was a glacier at one point are these slopes over here, here, and here. These are called moraines. So as the glacier comes through the valley, it pushes all the rock, silt, gravel, and pushes them off to the side and in front of it. So this over here is a lateral moraine. This would have been on the side of the glacier. I think this one's the terminal moraine. This is where the glacier ended. And this is another lateral moraine. The last bit of evidence that a glacier was in a valley is if there was a lake left behind. Well, would you look at that? Now at the head of the valley, you can kind of see where the glacier came over. See this U-shape? This is probably where the glacier came over into the valley. But check this out. As it came this way, it scoured the side of this mountain. This mountain's tweaked. It's had so much rock and boulders plucked off of it. It's a sheer cliff left like a horn there by the glacier. Dragged all those rock and debris, grinded them up, and deposited them down the valley in these moraines. All the way down there. Okay, I hiked out of the Glacier Valley way back there. Now I made my way up on one of these lateral moraines. Now you could tell this was deposited by a glacier because there's absolutely no sorting of the material. You got big boulders, you got rocks, you got sand, you got clay, everything's mixed together. If this was deposited by a river, then you would see layers of river rock. You'd see layers of sand and silt, and you just don't see that here. It's all mixed together. Plus a lot of these rocks down here are jagged. They haven't been eroded. If there was a river that deposited this, everything would be rounded off and we just don't see that. This is the dumping ground of a glacier. Now this is gonna blow your mind. So I'm like eight, 9,000 feet above sea level. This rock formation contains rocks that were originally deposited in a shallow sea area around the equator. So they were formed there, were buried beneath the surface of the earth, probably four or five miles down, got cooked, heated up, turned into metamorphic rock. Then they had to be thrust back up to form this. We're talking ages of time. Now on the shores of Convict Lake, you're gonna find all this slate. Well, where did this originate from? Well, it's a three-step process. First, it started as clay. Maybe it was deposited in the bottom of a lake bed. Then it got buried and was a lot of pressure and it became shale. Then it got buried even more with more pressure and became slate. And these are great rocks for skipping. That was horrible. On lily pads, hope it lasts Before I sink to deep Simple way. 